Welcome to week three of Good News. We're learning together what it looks like to walk with Jesus and how to truly trust him with our lives. A big piece of that walk requires costly obedience. What does costly obedience look like? Costly would stretch you, take you out of your comfort zone. It would be an action of stepping out of fear and stepping into faith. As followers of Jesus, we are always looking to step into what Jesus has in store for us. Step into all the good that he wants for our lives. So what's the greatest obstacle that blocks us from stepping into faith? For many of us, it could be fear. Fear stops us from telling our story. Fear stops us from moving into the unknown. Stepping out of fear and stepping into faith is costly. We are accustomed to waiting for opportunity. We are good when it is served to us, but Jesus didn't tell us to wait. He told us to go. In Matthew 28, Jesus gives us what is called the Great Commission. He tells us to go into all the world. The Great Commission is a commandment, and a commandment requires obedience. Jesus didn't command us to wait. He commanded us to go. We can step into costly obedience by no longer waiting for opportunity, but by making opportunity. So today, let's put that costly obedience into practice with some I will statements. Around here, we often ask, what will you do in the next 47 hours to act on what you hear God telling you? Why the urgency of 47 hours? Because our world and your people need to hear the good news as soon and as often as possible. In my life, regret happens when I wait and miss opportunity. The opposite happens when I urge, urgently step into obedience. God rewards obedience, and I don't want to experience regret. Let me tell you a story that comes out of Luke chapter 18. There's a blind man who's on the side of the road, and Jesus and his entourage are passing by. And the man wants to know what is happening. He can hear, but he can't see. And so he asks, what is happening? What is going on? And the people tell him that it is Jesus of Nazareth. And he starts screaming to get Jesus' attention. He's saying, Jesus, son of David, Jesus, son of David. And the people around him are urging him to be quiet, but he just screams louder because he, he wants to get in the front of Jesus. And so Jesus hears him and he calls him to him. And Jesus asked the man, what is it that you would want me to do for you? And the man says, I would like to see. And so Jesus heals him. What I want you to get from this story is that somebody told that man about Jesus. Somebody gave that man the hope of Jesus by telling him a story. And he believed that Jesus could heal him. You have been made a messenger of hope. And you can share the good news. If faith is like a mustard seed, Every time that you step out of fear and into faith, God waters the seed. Growing in faith requires a price. Bringing those around you to Christ is going to cost you. So let's put this into practice right now. Ask, what am I hearing God say to me? And how will I take a step of costly obedience in the next 47 hours?